Does your car stall for no reason? Is your fuel consumption suddenly off the charts? You might not need a new engine. Your ECU could be the real problem. In this video, we'll break down seven unmistakable symptoms of a bad ECU that every car owner needs to know. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on more car maintenance tips. Now, let's jump right in. The ECU, or engine control unit, is like the brain of your car. It controls fuel injection, ignition timing, and even dashboard signals. When it fails, your vehicle might show strange signs that seem unrelated. Understanding these symptoms early can save you thousands in repairs. Let's dive into the seven key warning signs of a failing ECU. Number one, check engine light stays on. One of the first and most common signs of a bad ECU is the persistent illumination of the check engine light on your dashboard. While this light can indicate many issues, if it stays on, even after diagnostic trouble codes have been cleared or no specific faults are found, the ECU may be malfunctioning. A failing ECU might generate false error codes or fail to detect real ones. This miscommunication leads to inaccurate assessments of engine health. Sometimes, the light may blink intermittently or appear alongside other warning lights. Modern ECUs manage a complex network of sensors and subsystems, and when they misfire or short out, it confuses the onboard diagnostics. If multiple sensors report errors at once, without a pattern, this could also be a clue. Mechanics often check for ECU faults when the check engine light can't be explained by common causes. Ignoring it can lead to further problems, as actual issues might go undetected. It's important to run a professional scan to confirm the ECU's health. Number 2. Engine stalling or misfiring. An erratic engine that stalls or misfires unpredictably can point to ECU trouble. The ECU regulates ignition timing and fuel injection, both of which are critical for consistent engine operation. When it begins to fail, the timing can be thrown off, leading to engine hesitation, misfiring, or even abrupt shutdowns while driving. These symptoms are not just inconvenient, they can be dangerous, especially if they occur at high speeds or in traffic. A malfunctioning ECU may send incorrect signals to spark plugs or fuel injectors, causing poor combustion. If misfires are occurring randomly across different cylinders and there's no consistent mechanical issue found, the ECU becomes a prime suspect. Sometimes, the engine will crank normally but then stall within seconds. This makes troubleshooting difficult without a full diagnostic scan. ECU-related stalls are often confused with fuel system or ignition problems. Reprogramming or replacing the ECU is usually the fix. Number 3. Poor Fuel Economy A sudden drop in fuel efficiency without a clear cause may be the result of a faulty ECU. The unit is responsible for optimizing the air-fuel ratio in the combustion chamber. If the ECU starts to fail, it may send the wrong signals to the fuel injectors resulting in too much fuel being injected. This leads to rich running conditions, where excess fuel is burned inefficiently. Onboard sensors like the Mass Airflow Sensor, MAF, or Oxygen Sensor, rely on the ECU to interpret and adjust fuel delivery. When the ECU misinterprets these sensor readings, the combustion cycle becomes imbalanced. You may notice more frequent fuel stops, black smoke from the exhaust, or a strong smell of unburnt fuel. Poor mileage not only affects your wallet, but also increases emissions. Often, no warning lights will appear, making this symptom harder to trace. Mechanics may test fuel trim readings to diagnose ECU faults related to fuel usage. Number 4. Engine won't start. 
A completely non-starting engine with no spark or fuel delivery is a strong indication of a dead ECU. In modern cars, the ECU controls both fuel pump activation and ignition timing. If it's not functioning at all, the car may crank but never start due to lack of fuel injection or spark. This is different from issues like a dead battery or starter failure because the electrical systems still work. Only the engine doesn't fire. A bad ECU can prevent communication with critical engine components. Technicians often rule out battery, fuse and relay issues before inspecting the ECU itself. Sometimes, the ECU is damaged due to voltage spikes, corrosion, or water damage, which can burn internal circuits. If diagnostics can't connect to the ECU, that's a major clue it's faulty. This symptom often leads to ECU replacement, especially if reprogramming or reflashing the unit fails. It's a serious condition that renders the vehicle inoperable. Number 5. Erratic or unresponsive engine performance. If your vehicle suddenly loses power, surges without input, or doesn't respond well to throttle commands, the ECU may be failing. The ECU continuously adjusts engine output based on driver inputs and environmental conditions. When it malfunctions, it can create a lag in acceleration or cause the car to behave unpredictably. You may press the gas pedal and get no immediate response or experience a delayed surge. In some cases, the engine might rev unusually high or low without cause. These symptoms suggest the ECU isn't managing fuel, air, and ignition correctly. Transmission shifts may also feel rough or out of sync, since many modern ECUs also influence automatic transmission behavior. An intermittent performance issue that changes from drive to drive often suggests an electronic rather than mechanical fault. Mechanics may use a scanner to observe live data streams to pinpoint irregular ECU behavior. This happens because the ECU directly controls systems that affect emissions such as fuel mixture, exhaust gas recirculation EGR, and oxygen sensor responses. If it sends incorrect signals or fails to adjust these systems properly, the vehicle may release more pollutants than allowed. Often, a rich fuel mixture caused by faulty ECU inputs leads to excess hydrocarbons or carbon monoxide emissions. You may not notice performance problems, but diagnostic results will show non-compliance. Emission readiness monitors may also fail to complete, showing that the ECU isn't cycling through its checks properly. In many regions, a failed emissions test means you can't legally register or drive the vehicle until it passes. Sometimes reprogramming the ECU resolves the issue, but if the internal circuitry is fried, a full replacement is required. It's a costly fix, but necessary for regulatory compliance. Like and subscribe for more car maintenance tips and diagnostic guides. Drop a comment if you've had strange issues that turned out to be ECU related. Thanks for watching and drive safe.